just as a mid player, like a, as a point of pride, you don't really want to be this far behind. It doesn't feel good. Right. It's like you have you have pride. You're just thinking to yourself, like I don't want to look at that score and say that I'm three behind. Deafening blast is not enough. The triple wraith ban, no boots build for mid one. Look at this mid one, dodge it and catching them with the shackles. Okay, Weha, throw it out. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! What? Oh, that's my boy! <laughs> oh, shit, son. It was worth it, dude. I knew. We hot. Dude, you miss every sun strike you don't throw. Oh. So he finally threw it. That was so wow. Good. Dude, Wait, that's so long. All right, that means that he just wasted so much time. He was he was going back and forth. He didn't TP because he didn't want to get sunstruck. But it's the sunstrike fought up. Oh, yeah. We, we have another one. Double kill for we Weha. Have. Relax. It was mid game team fights and lost the Roshans. Like it's really that fight at Roche. It's most of the time in this meta you're going to be losing games at Roche or at Towers. Well, that's the beauty of adversity. You don't have to commit very hard. Oh, here we go. Here the we're fight to happen. Three of them. We're going to see Sumail oh. going on the back line. That four gets his BKB up, but it's not going to matter. Miracle is just styling on him right now. That's going to be three quick kills. Arteez is going to fight back. Looks like S4 wants to get GH, but you're not even going to get him. It's just a massacre Dude. by the Dire Shrine. And just like the dinosaurs, a big ass meteor oh. renders all of evil geniuses extinct. Arteez buys back, tips to Miracle. At this point, I, I don't know if you can come back from this one. We were talking about how... All right. Support's getting picked off across the map. Universe comes TPing in here with his Shadow Blade. Going to be hunting for something. Fnatic actually chasing forward aggressively. They know that this Aegis is being reclaimed. Can they actually burst down Faded? They need some damage follow-up. Envy now coming forward, but they get their repel onto the TP. He's got Metamorphosis for a little bit longer. And Envy in a world of hurt. He's trapped inside the Ice Shards going mano a mano, but it's not really doing anything. And now Ajit has found a Dream Quill onto two on the back lines. Aphromoosh jumping forward, has another shard relatively soon. The Aghanim Scepter is doing work, though, for Fnatic. They're able to stand their ground and keep on fighting Faded, taking some damage off of these illusions. Needs to be careful. Can he get the Sunder off? He can't quite find it. Target Pilot Eye in the trees. There's finally a Sunder coming through, but the Sunstrike kills off the, the Omni Knight. And now they've actually isolated Fade. They're stunning him up. They've got the Cold Snap. They're still surviving, and Abed finds a triple kill. Oh, man, that Keeper of the Light, Aghanim Scepter, doing so much work. We can see the damage done, but we can't see the healing from... The Scar of Mage, an army, sort of sanking on sanking action as he goes in with a Burrow Strike onto GH. Not quite enough damage to burst him down, and GH, in fact, he's able to bring down and set up for a kill with the Sun Strike. The burst comes through. They will get external, but he gets on this. Two-man Shackle Shot controls there. It will get cancelled straight away as Armei comes forward with the two-man Burrow Strike. They're trying to turn this one around here by the Shrine. LGD, can they chase down any members of Liquid? They quit, they do have the numbers. Miracle actually coming in from the side is able to finish off Somnus. Again, another very big pick off here. Liquid, can they get more out of this? TP coming in towards the shrine. They're fighting in a very risky position, Liquid. But some man getting focused towards. He's got some timing here with the Invis. Trying to get himself out of this. But Miracle, he's continuing to find these kills. He's got a triple kill. Can he get more out of this? He's punching into this nice look. He's got a lot of resistance with the Grizzly Diamond. It's not enough. This Miracle with the Ultra Kill. They're looking towards Ole. Can they win? They hit a fifth out of this Miracle. It's incredibly low. They'll turn with the new Gobby. Trying to bring down Miracle, but Miracle, he carries on! They're looking to try and set up for the rap eight. they want to give it to him! I don't know if it's gonna be soon enough, he moves in, and he gets oh. it! Miracle, with the 20 minute rap eight against all odds! Fighting LGD, around their shrine! Liquid! And yeah, they just turn it there, hope not required. LGH. He's going to try for the TP, but there's no way that's going to happen in time. In fact, buying back straight away. It looks like Liquid wants to make sure that they can have a chance of fighting LGD around the pit. As LGD, they're into Rocha. Three buybacks, in fact, coming out from Liquid. They really want to try and put a stop to this. Miracle gets the BKB out in time before the stun comes through from X Nova. X Nova being chased down here by the right flips. He will fall. These three buybacks from Liquid fully going in on this focus around the Roche pit, but the ghosts are out. Can Liquid really take this fight? Solnus, you'll step into the air. We'll be able to buy time for himself. But there's the combo from Miracle. From the sidelines, they've got the silence here onto the PL. They're chasing him now. Can they finish off Arme? Yes, they can. Triple kill for Miracle. Arme will buy back on LGD. But Liquid, you can see how much they realize that this Roshan, it means so much at this stage of the game. They're putting everything towards it, and they're getting away with it as well. As the FY falls, they're trying to contend this LGD, but now Arme, he's brought back, but he's all on his own. Can he really do this as the lone PL? I don't know if he can. He's managed to find Miracle. So that's one of them, but Miracle buying back 
Liquid doing everything in their power to take control of this stage and the sun strike is not even going to be necessary. Matumba Man will finish off the kill. That's a dieback on Arme. Liquid now with control at the pit. Should be able to actually, they don't really have great damage for this right now. I nice. do believe Kingwin's going to be up in time. Okay. Where's the combo? Cold snap onto Exotic Deer. There's the Tornado EMP. Meteor Hammer comes down. Oh, got it. oh he's done it. Yes. It's beautiful. <laughs> Power time is there. Exotic Deer is still alive. There's a nice path out. Five anchors trying their best to fight this one. Exotic Deer still surviving. Trixie in trouble. The Aspen are not to connect on anyone. They do look towards Pados and they will get the Abaddon. And if he got the BKB mid team fight there, I think he would have actually dropped to the most of that magic damage, but then he could actually just run back in. That was just all there. The, the combo looks nice. Combo looks very it's, nice. You know, that is it's flashy. But of course, uh, being able to borrow time straight out of it was a bit of a problem. Mid lane, cold it's, snap. The EMP is doing so much work in the fights. And there we have it. Ellie Sash gone. Nisha looking for the grab. Has the magic missile. They've got the Phoenix Grip as well. Straight away, though, the counter play with the defensive nightmare. They have the swap. Nisha is in trouble. He's down. And now Exotic Deer being focused on the side. He'll try and turn, but he's been surrounded by the primal split. Triple kill for Thompson as he punches them down. Five seconds without it, DJ falls forward. He's trying to close the gap onto Luke, but looks like Luke will be fine for now. Gets back to base. Now without the Tiny, but Tiny does have buyback. Missile, rocket, bonus smash, laser. They've got him. That's DJ down. Arbet moving in with the AoE definitely run. The Cataclysm was won. Oh, oh, oh. This time it's pit hits again. It actually does something. It killed everybody. Oh, for Arbet. The only man in the world that can make Cataclysm not look useless. And with that. It's such a fast rose. You can't get too far away from it. They're just going to kill it. Look, they go. Already down to 60% HP. Evos positioning, getting ready to go in, but a good black hole from Ramses with a cataclysm on top. Say goodnight in logic. Buys back immediately. Toss will do the same, but they're losing heroes at a drastic rate. Jakiro caught and killed with a great tornado nearly clipping onto face huggers Mirana in the back end of the fight. As who is this? A VL Centaur. Well, well, well. I think this has uh, got something to do with a creek, some shit, and no paddle because he has been left all alone. Finally, the backup arrives. Three heroes come in to try and continue this fight, but they lose the Mirana by his back, and one by one, they're filtering in. The PA wants to get the Invoker, diving in deep towards the Roshan pit, but jumps the Drown. Now instead, the Hurricane fight back up high ground, and an Ultra kill for no one. Oh, GG's called, and they tap out. It is over. He's going to reveal this. Roshan is going to be about a third HP. The Kunkka's not up for four seconds. They've already killed the Ward, placed out by Secret, so there's no vision for Secret to be able to operate on here. Roshan, falling faster, faster than the initiation, comes up for Ying. The Cataclysm, that's gonna fall upside. He's already dead. Mid one gets a big cleave in, but now the Supernova, they don't have the hero positioning with this egg. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna push back Secret, exploding on top of Puppy. He's dead now. Two dead from Secret, an instant buyback from our Chen. They're gonna make their initiation on Yang with the boat coming in, but he already oh, blinked out of it. He got out of that one. Now they're gonna cross the corner. Over three. With the meteor coming over the top, they need to be able to take out this turn blade as fast as possible, and they do! Managed to get him for 70 seconds, mid one, getting kited around as well, everybody's so low, but he can't get him! Tossed up in the air once again by the Tornado, VG Gaming struck that's back four. around the Roshan pin, four dead from Secret, and a Roshan that's theirs! And you might have claimed the first two, but this is the most important one of the game. You had the Refresher Ord, four Invoker, now you've got the Shard. For Ori. So doing it early allows him to get one more morph off during the fights. Yeah, I mean, he's throwing the Nimbus down bottom already to try to split push. They jump Yang immediately. Cold Embrace will reset for now. That Nimbus a little bit annoying, but the BKB and the Blood Loss will make short work of it. And there's the Winter's Curse. On to three, catching Moon. The Zeus arrow flies onto Morphling. JT with a counter close up. Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely spot on. Fucking beautiful for BG Gaming. Mayenski, what do you do about that? Uh, that Winter Ivan with the initiation range, he knows what he's doing. They buy back a lot, they try to defend, but this is going to be a reset for Vici Gaming, backing up. That was beautiful, and the catapults are going to be enough. It just, that's why I was like, you can't commit, because you've got to assume the worst is going to happen, right? Or no, you just play balls to the wall. He got bashed on first hit from Roche after he ulted. I think that's, that's worse than So, are you saying that it was a misplay, or do you think he just got a... Oh, oh my God! Miracle Kobe. God! 
Miracle God is just playing out of his mind, but middle lane, no, Sumail does a little damage, believe the roll in, the Meteor is gonna hit, but he won't run over it, and meanwhile, can he live, Crit's coming in, will it be in time, I don't think it will, it won't be, and now, we is it in trouble, yeah, Crit's gonna go down as well, from a save, to missing it to a double kill, Miracle takes a lot of damage, but he's juggling the orbs on him, dude, and they smoke on top of a dire ward, no real kill potential here on either side, just a lot of big rotations. Distance needs to be careful of these side blades, he's running straight back. Fisher catches on to two, Fenrir and Baboka, they get the boulder smash out, but Fenrir will be brought down. X Nova is behind the tower, he's now coming in, they do lose the TA, but it looks like PSG LGD, they've got the numbers in this fight, and one more touch, X Nova finds himself a double kill. FY only just barely alive. D Stone's gonna be respawning in a couple of seconds. Can he find the random sun strike? He's gonna be looking for it, and he is actually gonna get it. D Stone's the man. There's vision here. Wait, who does? Sumail. Sumail, okay, yes, he does. Now, we let shadows. Oh. Big, 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 Gonna be pushed back with the Hurricane Pike going in with that Spectral Dagger though. No, we got stunned up. Here goes the Barber though. 